Hello YouTube, I am back again with another video highlighting the fact that this this um character by the name of Rachel Dolezal or how you pronounce her name, I believe I don't think anybody else is doing any videos about this, so I decided to you know break the ice or <clears throat> um break the glass ceiling or something, do a video about it, and I believe that. I personally believe that this um, Rachel Dolezal character is a clone. And before I get into this, um, I like give a little background. This individual is supposedly almost, um, of course, I don't believe everything that Wikipedia says. This individual is supposedly, excuse me, she's supposedly um, 37 years old based on her date of birth or something but she actually but looking at the pictures you know in the image looking at the images and stuff she's obviously it looks like she's older than that she's much older than that she's like in her mid to late 40s or something and somebody said well, I mean why do you feel that she's a clone is because and it looks based on these images right here that there are different versions of her as well and it look and <clears throat> Um, she happens to be a, be the president of NAACP or some national, uh, advancement. Hold on, let me see what a national advancement of, um, colored people or something. And the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, I'm sorry. And I believe that the alumni, and this basically got everybody talking, and, um, I would just like to say that before I get into this message, if you're not spiritual, this message is not for you because what I'm talking about is going to be totally foreign to you. And so it's basically pointless to uh, <clears throat> get in because I'm disabling comments anyway because I don't want to be running all over the place, you know, answering replies and stuff. So if you want to, if you want to, if you have any questions or comments, then leave it in the um discussion section of my profile but moving on if you're not spiritual this message is not for you if you think everything is a joke in a game this message is not for you if you want to continue to follow lies and you don't want to know the truth or have no love for the truth or don't want to abide in it this message is not for you and if you want to follow Hollywood and believe everything that the mainstream media tells you and co in the corporate control, I should say, lamestream mass media or, or whatever, they're not going to tell y'all the truth about this stuff because most criminals I know of, and I, I, I mean, I, if I were in their shoes, I would, I would feel the same way. They will not reveal their crimes to the world. So, y'all need just, you, I mean, if you think that, then you got a long way to go to catch up with the rest of us. But <clears throat> back in the matter, uh, the subject matter in hand, I believe they were using this individual. I think there's a matter of the reasons that the original Rachel was killed. But basically they're using these um, Rachel Dolezal clones. And they also appear to be transvestites as well. Because there are, no there are no true women within the arena of the elite arenas of politics, religion, royalty, sports, and entertainment. If there are women, they're either living their lives as males or... Or they're hermaphrodites or intersex, that so means a, a, to a certain extent they're a combination of both male and female, or they're neither, like the, like the Miley Cyrus clones, but I'll discuss them at another time. But they're basically using these uh, Rachel Dolezal uh, clones to basically clown the black race. And I would also like to, this actually goes out to. And I'm specifically talking, of course, the Illuminati hates everybody, but they're specifically, they specifically hate the black race. I mean, and there's a site called blackgenocide.org. I think you people should check that out if you want to know more about it. And, you know, the, the part that Margaret Sanger, and I'm pretty sure she's burning in hell right now, Margaret Sanger played in it, and she was a racist. She was a racist white lady that, you know, that was for eugenics and black people being forcibly and to a certain extent, poor white people being sterilized. And this is this is very this um this Rachel Dolezal character is very offensive to me as a uh, woman of color, as a black woman, and she's going around pretending 
Of course, it's probably not her fault anyways because, you know, these synthetic life forms, these um, so-called synthetic humans or clones, they don't really have a mind of their own. I'm not saying all of them are soulless, but they're going to but the category that don't have any souls, they can't think for themselves. So they have to be pre-programmed to, you know, perform certain tasks. And once, like doing the bidding for the Illuminati or, um, yeah, carrying out their, their agendas and stuff, like vehicles to push their agendas, and once the program either breaks down or, you know, their bodies break down and stuff, they have to get rid of them and they have to get rid of them and uh, make more of them, more like them. And there's always discrepancies in the features because no two people are exactly alike. And I don't think the original Rachel Dolezal would have went along with this sort of thing of, you know, pretending to be black and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I had a picture, a comp photo. Here it goes. Um, I don't think she would have. I, I truly don't think she would have went along with this sort of thing. It's very unusual. And what I want to know is... Number one, why do they have a woman being the president of an organization unless it's really a man? Because look how mannish this individual, the individual on the left looks. That's a man jaw. And I also know she has a longer neck than the original version of herself. And a pointier, and a pointier nose. It's, I guess it's probably why and the Illuminati also, you know, they, they also they also the head of, you know, they also own um, NAA, the NAACP. And um, this Rachel Dolezal character, I believe they 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 playing this. They playing all of this out. They put and number one, why 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 would they have a woman being the president? Because I'm more in favor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The I mean, I'm sorry. I know it's gonna offend you, feminists, but I don't like I don't like women. I, I'm not I, the idea because it's it's just wrong. It's not what God intended. God never intended for women to occupy. Um, occupy positions of power. And you're probably asking why, because number one, because Eve was deceived in the Garden of Eden. Number two, the woman is the weaker vessel, like it or not, take it or leave it. The woman is a weaker vessel, and women are more emotional creatures and might let their emotions cloud their logic. But men are, women are right brain caring, but men are left brain logic, basically. Men's brains. You know, operate, their minds operate differently than women. So, that's why women, I prefer a man being in a position of power. And number two, why would they pick a white woman to do this? I mean, nothing against whites, but I'm just saying that a white person is not necessarily the best uh, representation of, you know, the black community. I mean, they, they, to a certain extent, I mean, they probably identify their struggles, but, you know, they're not in our shoes. I mean... You can sympathize, but you can't empathize. But and secondly, if this person was black, which I seriously doubt, maybe when they clone her, they add some black genes to her, because they can manipulate the DNA, the mitochondrial DNA of an individual when they clone, so they'll look a certain way. And why would if they did pick a black, why would they pick somebody light skinned? And you know, light in it, because a lot of black people are color struck anyways. And they prefer light skin over dark skin. And I'm a medium complexion. And the more I find out who I am in God, the less, you know, Hollywood appeals to me. I would like to say something else to the black people. If you're contemplating joining up with the entertainment industry, with modeling, <coughs> politics, or any any other elite arena, you need to just forget about it. Because all they're going to do is, all they do is clown black people, mock black people. Uh, negatively stereotype us and all that kind of stuff because <clears throat> they don't like they, they they don't care anything for blacks and you're not going to find your validation there you wouldn't be able to find it with the help of the FBI or even God himself I mean best thing you you need to do it and plus if you <clears throat> if you join up with the entertainment industry you will get murdered and you will get cloned whether you want to or not they're going to do that to you because you know, it's a customary ritual. They do everyone like this. I mean, this thing, I didn't find out recently, this thing even spills over into the uh, main population. But back to the differences between the imposter and the original. Somebody said, well, she was a teenager. She grew up. I mean, I don't even want to hear it based on not getting into it. The ones that you, if you believe it, then fine. If you don't believe it, then 
then screw you. I don't care. You can kiss my grits. But moving on, the original Rachel, she looks more feminine. She's wholesome, plain-faced, all-American. But the imposter has this same sly, sneaky smile. And the original person, you know, since they're godly seed, and they likely got saved before they died, you know, they almost always have a godly presence about them. They have the glory of God on them, but the imposter is very sinister and demonic looking. So can't nobody tell me that, you know, these these individuals right here aren't, you know, this Rachel Dolezal character isn't a clone. Because I just saw a picture of her where she looks really, really fake. And like I said before, if you come, you message me making excuses for all this kind of mess, your comments will only be deleted, you'll be blocked. And somebody said you shouldn't be like that, where people are being uh, covertly murdered and having their identity stolen. And this is nothing to joke about, nothing to play about. And as you can see in this picture right here, there's also different, the, the original Rachel, she looks more feminine, but the, one, the imposter has a man jaw and a larger head. The, man, the neck is, and, and clones also tend to have longer, thinner faces and longer necks for some odd reason. Like those creatures, the Anakims in the uh, Old Testament, which means long-necked ones. And the, the, the jaw is the uh, jaw is managed. The neck is like a football uh, player or quarterback or a linebacker. That's not a man at all. That's a uh, a transvestite, a man in drag pretending to be a woman. And you can see the same thing here. And that's also a clone on the left, Carrie Hills. As you can see, they try to make her look more white as well. And if you're a black person, and they're not only going to clone you, but they're going to when they the uh, clones, they're going to erase your ethnic features. Because with the New World Order, you often see in pop culture, you see mannequins and stuff. And that represents the humanization. And I also notice that these mannequins don't have any distinctive features. So it's all this is all this stuff is basically leading up to the New World Order. And I'm trying to find a photo where she looks really, really fake. And this picture right here. Somebody said, well, it's Photoshop. I mean, I don't care. It doesn't change the fact that they're a clone. And right here, the differences couldn't be more obvious. I mean, they're trying to tell us something. See how it looks zippered and stuff. They unraveled the original person. They revealed to us the imposter. But, hold on a second. I'm sorry. This, that was a little glitch on my part. But, instead of becoming famous, you know, finding... People basically do this anyway because their lives is empty and you know they're looking for things to fill that void that only God can fill. You're better off, you know, getting saved, becoming a Christian. And either when you die or when the rapture comes, either way, it's a win win situation for you if you're a child of God. I mean, you're going to have a glorified body without flaw or without. And as you can see, this, this Rachel right here is different from this. This one has a longer, thinner face. And a wider, this one has a long, thinner face and a narrow forehead. So they got different versions of this individual floating around. Right here, this, I, I mean, I just don't know what to say. I mean, clones basically have jacked up hairlines. And usually women don't have clones like this. It's usually men. And this is basically a man dressed up as a woman. And they have that same sneaky smile. And you got to watch out for when their ex facial expressions are exactly the same. And that means they're a clone. I mean, there's nothing godly about this. These this individual's um, facial expression or countenance it looks very obnoxious and demonic. And again, these are two different versions of this Rachel Dolezal character. And it's obviously a clone because the skin is very clear. And this individual has a longer, thinner face. And the lips are shaped differently on this individual, and the nose is a little bit larger, and the neck is a little bit shorter. I'm still trying to find that photo since my time is growing short. And this is another um, individual. The reason why she looks older than her years because clones don't age very well. And again, there's different versions. So forgive me if I stutter all my words. I have a problem with stage fright, people. I mean, this is, has potential to be seen by millions of people. So... If you have any questions, comments, or whatever, don't be afraid to leave it in the discussion section. And with all that said, I am about to dismiss. Until next time, be blessed, people. I'm out.